Sunny PR Cream just released a new single with an MV and it's called Savage. And as I am the biggest fan of anything DPR, Dream Perfect Regime related, and I'm doing react videos because it's, that's the thing now I'm doing. <laughs> I just wanted to react to this. I haven't watched it before. I even, I have not watched the teaser trailer. I wanted to be like completely taken aback and in awe of all of this. And the last time DPR Cream actually released his own music, and video was four years ago like the last video was uh color drive and of course he also released gravity but there wasn't a video and i'm super excited because i saw like i saw the the thumbnail and it's his face and that's crazy because he just really never shows his face it's always like hidden behind like a baseball cap or hat or whatever even on tour like when i went to regime tour and i even went to do like one of the meet and greets he was just like shrouded in mystery with his hat whatever like that's a thing, so maybe it's a longer thing. And I'm super excited, so let's just dive right in. But so you know, I'll watch the video, I probably have a lot to say, and I might pause a lot. And I don't know if there's any kind of overlap with the Metaverse, because this isn't actually edited, as far as I know, by DPR Ian. It's edited by John, right? And so this is completely probably a different take but i don't know if there will be references so let's just go dive right in and watch it together please insert card oh this already looks so retro like a <laughs> like 90s where you had to insert your floppy disk anyway i'm old yeah Ooh, i love the vhs look oh wait i'm sorry i have to stop right away like you start with the vhs look and make it all retro and then suddenly you have this super futuristic hyper 4k look of this surreal world and everything is super crisp and of course there's special effects so like with the fire being like super sharp and also like this is i don't know like a different version of the other world but it's more like a vr virtual reality <gasps> i'm excited okay I, I should stop talking i should just stop watching okay okay Fire. damn Shrouded face, and I told you. Why does it look so sad? Okay. Nice. It's such a DPR thing with the laser light effects. Face Face card serving. <laughs> you don't look like you feel alright. Ooh, contact lenses. Is he rubbing something? I already have so much to say. Oh my god. Okay. So it kept recording. Ah, why the smoking? Oh, apocalyptic. Soon? Did he say? No way. That was Jason. All right. Oh, okay. Wait, there's a little bit at the end. Oh, is that his logo? To be continued. That was nice. Like, I, like, I think it was quite 
obvious that it's not a DPR in edit. Probably he didn't even direct it, right? And still, it looked very cohesive with the overall DPR visuals from like the typical saturated colors, but it's usually like very specific colors that are heightened, like the the blues and the yellows are always a little bit like on the acid side, a little bit surreal, right? And the dramatic effects with the, the sky and then the clouds. And I loved how they incorporated, you know, the VHS and the added in effects with the memories being related to like basically married with the visuals like that's how you can can show the different timelines right with the editing and it was this vhs look and that was actually the vhs tape in the video but like with the special effects it looks like it was just emitting some kind of fairy dust or maybe even dissolving like the memories fade over time that's why also when you look back on it like a vhs tape will will get deteriorated deteriorated over time because, you know, your memory is, is thick like that. Like you can maybe, the more and more you, you focus on it, you can maybe cling to it, but also it will just not record everything in high definition <laughs> as it would with like a phone. So you only remember bits and pieces. And then usually also if it's been like a, like a, a breakup situation, like what it looks like this, you will focus on certain things, like only just the good things or really the bad things. Like you're the worst narrator basically you're a very unreliable unreliable narrator and i really love how that's being picked up here as well and the different effects let's so just like go through certain things that i felt like were a reference to anything that dpr already put out like the typical um things that usually dpr em puts in his own videos that cross references other videos and like little easter eggs and that because i felt like some of them were there but like if you're not in the dpr lore you wouldn't need to pick up on it and it wouldn't really matter but maybe i'm just interpreting a lot into this maybe not because they're always co-creating and they're always like checking with each other and they're creating in a team which is why i love dpr so much because they're not living in a bubble but they're all different artists and they each support each other and they have these team meetings and they plan everything and they are all about details like it's so cool all right i don't know this kind of feels yeah, a little bit reminiscent of, you know, DPR lives, anybody out there where they were in the Chinese desert and then the skies were also the sepia. But this feels more like a, like a video game of sorts where, you know, there's, there's a lot of sharp detail, but it's really empty though, right? It's like, you can see everything is very distant. The focus is on the person. <clears throat> there's even a little bit of light in the middle. Like, it doesn't even look like he's spawned as a video character, but he's walking towards something, I don't know, saving point. <laughs> oh, I love how the letterbox just opens up. So, like, you have the VHS kind of frame, and then suddenly it's, like, opening up to the current dimensions of what videos are, you know, with the 16 to 9. What's with this? Like, that must be an important symbol. I mean, like, the clocks also float around in DPR Ian's work, especially in the Maida movie, when he's on the bed. And that's like the reference to trying to kind of losing time or checking where your reality is in the moment when you especially lose sense of time, um, which, you know, Christian you has with his DID. <laughs> so like to reference, like, am I still in the same time? It's a lot of stuff past, like, wh where am I to orient yourself, to ground yourself? And again, they have these floating particles so this must belong probably to the woman in the picture, in the picture of Abby. Like here, she gives him an apple. Is she like an Eve, like an Eve type person? She gave him like the apple, and so he fell from back down. I love the type of um, retro overlay they chose for this. Like it's not a typical VHS corrupted image, but it has this like point, pointy look. I don't know what it's called. Like this. Almost looking like when you uh, zoom in on photographs, like printed photographs, because it's, you know, stuff are printed, like with little points. They are so close together, it looks like an even surface. That's what it looks like. Like you really zoom in on the footage. So making it blurry, making it a little bit loose shape. 
so you can see the details and in that way you also lose the details because when you stand further away you can take in more and it's more cohesive but when you look in closer it becomes more of a kind of mess footage of soul i really want to go back to soul and again with the the fire that's a typical like dpre and symbol and then later when he has like the hand and flames which he also has like the Gurian has with the with the light uh with the the hand that has a tattoo with the burn on it anyway the fire makes sense because he's smoking creep smoking <laughs> but also i guess like he opens his the fire and then rem reminisces on being with this woman so like that's where the spark started that's where the flame was still intact and that's where he actually shows his face. Like he's open and vulnerable and ready for her, but she also has glasses. So is she a little bit guarded? It's like comparison. Like he's fully showing his face and she's showing it by like having glasses or just like, you know, it just looks cool. I don't know. <laughs> like here, you can see his whole face, but in the beginning when he's like sad and going to the light, he has the hoodie up. But her face is only always shown like partially, I feel like. See, she's turning away. And now this is the current time, so everything looks crisp. And the TV is burning. So like the replay of where he could watch her is getting destroyed. The couch, I guess like a memory of where they hung out. Like his space is burning. And he's like a pain. I love how this has the colors because you know, like if his video of color drive, and like I said, the DPR colors are always just this kind of rainbow that's a little bit off from the main colors you usually get. Like, mm, and it's shown here as like the. No, it's not an energy bar. It's like where you have your light diagram displayed on your screen, I think. Like where you can adjust how much light is let in in the camera. Like if you make it darker or lighter. But it's these typical colors like the green, blue, purple and reddish. They are very DPR colors. And again, it's just overlay of a video camera look. But not quite. There's like no recording button, so it's a replay. I really like that. That's such a nice transition. I don't know. This shirt looks dirty and torn. Interesting. Like that light reflection also that I did a lot of DPR Live with the, I think the boom video where he was on the dance floor with roller skating. He Wait, he's got like blue contact lenses and he's sitting in a blue room. It's kind of cool. It's kind of funny, like when it, like you don't see his contact lenses here. It almost looks like when you have a really, really dark room and you have like your camera on like night vision or you flash, you know, use a flash and then suddenly the eyes look like really creepy, you know? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. You're you're like just so much in the dark that your pupils dilate, and then suddenly like the flash of light comes in. Like it's all white in the pupil, like very ghostly, very jarring. This is what it feels like. He's just in his own space, like really withdrawn and under the hoodie, and then he just watches the screen maybe, or like replays the memory in his mind, and that's why it looks like his eyes look like that. I don't know. That's my exp uh, interpretation of that. Wait, so the the blue eyes, are they actually an edit? I think they're not real blue eye contact lenses. Because it just changed colors, didn't it? Come on. I am sure. I think I saw that. Yet brown eyes and then it turned blue. Yet, yeah. see? And the other eye isn't blue. There's one blue eye. I wonder what that means. 
set a reference. See the hand with the burn? Like Mido. I wonder what the tree means. Now it's like the next thing is blowing up. So it has tree of the relationship. And that's the apple she gave him. <laughs> this this mask looks like from the peanut butter and tears music video. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I do love to film in the forest at night, <laughs> or like in the dusk, don't they? And in tunnels. Like that gave me like nerves vibes, you know? Was that the apple? Oh, that's the glass apple, isn't it? And it's blue. Oh, I love that the VHS tape. You know, I don't know if it's dissolving or if it is actually just emitting the energy and the power, you know. Uh, but it says caution. And then I don't know what else it says. Video can make it out. But it's kind of funny because, like, it seems like watching it is dangerous because you know, emotional attachment, opening wounds back up, but also with the theme of the apple, like, you know, Eve giving the apple and then they getting kicked out of the paradise kind of thing. So, like, watch it on risk. <laughs> and there's all of these tapes un unwound now, but this one still looks intact. I kind of know... I kind of should have like listened to the lyrics, shouldn't I? That would give me clues. Oh, it's auto-generated English. Mm. That probably will be bad. All right, then no. Um, come on, YouTube. No, 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 it's, I jumped around, damn it. Is he wearing like a similar glass model then with then a girl, but it's black? Because his specs are kind of hiding. Ooh, like the way he just like very gently stroked it, not like with any kind of negative feeling, but like yearning, like fun memories, but also caution. <laughs> well, there's so many cuts there. What just happened? What was that one frame? That wasn't... There wasn't even half a second. Damn. Oh, that's her. Okay. All right. See, that's what I'm in with the acid colors, the yellow and the green. A kind of neon -y. And this, yeah, this looks like a newspaper clipping, like the black and white. And is that the reference to Color Drive when he was driving a car? And so like in the seat is the, not the VHS tape, but the actual recorder, the camcorder. And because... He's like grabbing it, it's still recording, so like it still makes new memories and he reaches out and like kind of covers the lens. Maybe he wants it to stop, or maybe he wants to refocus. Instead of just the car being stagnant, empty, and empty of the, any people, including him and her. He wants to refocus? <laughs> well, there's a little bit of a continuity error, because like he was just reaching in front of the lens, but then he held it from the side. Anyway, never mind. And I love how his shirt is now yellow, matching the yellow of the tunnel edit. And now the colors are not as pronounced anymore. Like you can still see that probably put a blue light in that car seat to make it glow like that. 
but it didn't add it on an enhanced yellow of the tunnel. I guess I would have done too much masking, would have been a lot of work. But yeah, I love like the cinematic color um, the staging of the lighting usually. You know, you usually have the, the blue and the orange, um, the typical setup for cinematic shots to give that kind of contrast and pop and direct your vision of the viewer. So like they keep with it, but it's not a typical classic um, teal and orange look. This is again more the DPR look, like the I don't even know the color names. I'm not that great, <laughs> but it's more like a, a yellow and a cyan blue kind of thing. You know, like a little bit different, like a little bit off, like you know, trademark DPR. Does that make sense? Deal makes sense. Like I just mean the colors are like very specific in the way it's color graded, and well, it follows typical set up expectations it still deviates from it consciously and i like that i appreciate how like it's good editing so he's replaying the vhs on the camcorder now not the, the burning screen which makes sense because that would be toxic fumes <laughs> i'm overthinking it okay again the flame Burning now for the cigarette, inhaling the last stream, so I don't know. Okay, so here in the throwback video, the clock is... I thought it was gold, but I guess it's just like it's more silver in the sunlight, in the real light. She also has camouflage look. And they have this apocalypse. I wonder if this apocalypse is more about the end of the relationship, like a metaphor, or if that what is happening, like they were in this kind of end of the world scenario, she was gone, or with the apple, she caused that, you know, like they're the peaceful world coming apart through temptation. And so now he being alone, but we don't see the world currently completely ruined. So we only saw like the light and the fire of him sitting in front of the green screen with the couch and the TV. And then just emptiness and the emptiness in the forest, emptiness in the tunnel. We didn't see like destruction as such. The destruction only really happens in this frame where they're standing together at these rocks. And when he's like in front of the couch. So, like, did you bring it about? Did they both live through it? Is she gone? Did she voluntarily leave? Like, you know, I guess we'll see in the continued, continued next video. Which I can't wait. It's gonna be so interesting. But yeah, he's looking like they're both completely camouflage. Well, he is much more suited for an apocalypse than she and her leggings. Like, that would rip so fast if she had to run. There. and like on these rocks and trip Oof. but only I think that's also the only time she has her hair down because in the other time she had like a little ponytail it's a cute look though yay oh my gosh I love this video it's really cool I'm going to replay the song on my Spotify and I'm going to look up the video, video lyrics now. That's it. That's uh, that's my React video. If you are a fan of DPR and you watch this, comment below how you thought the video was, how you like it, how you like the song, how you like, what's your favorite DPR creation so far? Because they're just, like, they're just publishing bangers and like amazing stuff. Anyway, like I don't expect any lists, no pressure. But yeah, um, so that was DPR Cream Savage. Loved it. And I uh, can't wait for the next video to come out and I can react to it. Alright, that's it. Bye!